Hi everyone, this is Kavita from Satare TV. Today I'm fortunate enough to have Rajul Seth. He is the Director of Sports and Recreation at the India Community Center here in Milpitas. Hi Rajul, welcome to Satare TV. Thank you very much, my pleasure. Tell me about the recreation program in table tennis, particularly that you've started here at the India Community Center. Well, uh, initially in 2005, we started this program with three or four uh, tables on a carpet on a recreational way. And uh, we saw that a lot of uh, Indian and Chinese parents and kids are interested in table tennis. So we gave a little bit professional touch to that program from 2005. And uh, program, we had around 60 to 70 kids in 2005. So we decided to have a full-time program and in 2008, we set up our goals that let's make a history in the world with this program. And the first goal we set up in 2008 was, okay, let's try to have one player from our club to go for the Olympics. And based on that target and plan, we started training really hard. We made a plan. And uh, finally, 2012, we are so lucky and happy that instead of our target of one player, we have three players qualified for the London oh. Olympics. What are their names, these players? It's Timothy Wong, Ariel Singh, and Lily Zhang. Wow, what an accomplishment. And how many students does the program serve at this time? Right now we have around 140 students training regularly. And their age groups are? Uh, from five years till 18 years. Okay. You as a coach and some of the training of the coaches here. Tell me about your training. Well, so right now we have a to whenever you want to do on a, such a professional level you need coaches of a different game style different countries to train with the players so we made a big plan in 2008 to hire full-time coaches from india china and europe and all of them with a different game style so what uh, we have right now is three coaches full-time from china three full-time coaches from india uh, we just hired a new uh, head coach, he's from Europe, Italy. So we give a combination of all the country, all the game style to prepare this kid 100% stronger. What an accomplishment. I know we've been hearing wonderful things about the table tennis program at the ICC. It is an amazing program and thank you so much for sharing it with us. Good shot. <laughs> yeah, I, I, did, I do like that. Steve Wesley, one of the supporters of the ICC table tennis program. I, I am. Anil and I were two of the early, I guess, founding sponsors. And we're very proud of the center. Coach Rajul has done extraordinary things like no one else in the United States. Did you expect this when you started the program, so much growth? You know, we never dreamed it would become not only the best table tennis center in the United States, but it's now been ranked one of the 10 or 15 best in the world, competing head to head with the best in China. Yeah, and this is not considered an uh, Olympic training facility. This is a community center. Yes, but we have a yes. phenomenal training center just five minutes from here with 20 tables open every night. And the great thing is you can come here at 9 or 10 at night and still see 15 or 20 tables busy. Wow. What is one of your most proudest moments or something that you remember about the program throughout the years? Well, I think there's two things, really. One, to see just the phenomenal number of kids coming together, both Caucasian kids, the Vietnamese, the Indian community, the Chinese-American community. It makes you proud to be an American. But what I really love is not just our three Olympic athletes who train at our center, three of the four Olympians are from here, yes. but to see the kids up and coming, I think we have another five or ten Olympians right wow. here tonight for the future. Wow. This will become a famous place in America. And how did you attract such a fantastic, phenomenal team from around the world? Um, you know, Rajul Shet, who's uh, the director of the table tennis program, uh, is, uh, was a state-ranked player uh, in Gujarat, uh, and he is phenomenal. He uh, formed some friendships in the uh, Chinese-American community uh, and with their help attracted some of the Chinese coaches. Of course, he had connections in India, and because of Massimo's uh, connection with the Indian national team, we were able to attract him, which was fantastic. Wow. And some of the kids here that start out at the program, how young, how young can they be? Start. You know, it's interesting, uh, as, as early as uh, five years old, uh, and we have kids that are uh, eight, nine-year-olds that are top in their uh, age category in the U.S. I know. what are some of the key skill sets that you look for in children to identify the talent for playing table tennis? I mean, at an early stage, we mostly look for a passion for the game. Uh, and just interest in uh, playing and having fun. You know, as they start to do well, we see which kids are the ones that are really 
wanting to uh, dedicate themselves and spend more time and certainly we help out the kids that want to do that. I'm here with Mike Kevineau, the CEO of the U.S. Table Tennis Committee for the Olympics. Hi Mr. Kevineau, welcome to Sadari TV and welcome to the Bay Area. Thank you. It's always good to be here. I spent half my life in Southern California, so it's good to come back. Tell me about how, what you feel about the ICC and their center and the accomplishments they have made. In a word, unbelievable. Um, dedicated, community-spirited human beings uh, for all the right reasons. And when you match that with athletes with dedication, desire, discipline, good things happen. Have you ever had a center like this or any one location in the U.S. that's produced so many students that have qualified for the Olympics? Well, the answer to that is no. Uh, there's some well-run organizations, but this is the flagship, if I can use that term. Um, and people look at what they're doing, how they're organized, what they do for the athletes, what they do for the community, and that's, that's inspirational. I'm sorry. I'm here with Lily Zhang. She qualifies for the World Olympics in 2012 in London. Hi, Lily. How are you feeling about this achievement? Um, it feels amazing. It's been my dream since ever, ever since I was a little girl, so to have my dream come true, it just feels incredible. Both of you, Lily and Ariel, you're just 16 years old. How long have you been training here? Um, actually, I'm 15, but yeah, I've been training here for around three and a half years, I think, and ICC has been amazing to us. They've been so helpful and supported us through everything, so I'm so grateful for them. Lily, you're a 15-year-old, you're a high schooler. How do you manage being in school, keeping up with your schoolwork and your training here at the, for the Olympics? Um, I mean, it's definitely hard because I have to balance both at the same time, but I think I have to make a lot of sacrifices, like you know, hanging out with friends or school activities, but I think it's definitely worth it in the end. Hi, I'm Lily Zhang. I'm qualified for the 2012 London Olympics, and you're watching me on Satari TV. Ariel, how does it feel to be qualified for the Olympics coming up this year? It feels so amazing. I just feel so lucky and so fortunate to have this opportunity to just represent the United States and what I love doing. I think that I'm just so lucky. There's so many other people, so many other athletes that try just as hard, work harder, sacrifice more, and they're just and I have this opportunity. I feel just so amazing and so blessed. Timothy, how do you feel about your achievement? Uh, I'm just so excited that I can be a part of the Olympics. It's every athlete's dream to, to one day compete and I just want to thank all my coaches, all my supporters and ICC for helping me get to where I am today. ICC is the first professional, more, most professional um, table tennis facility in the U.S. at the moment and they have a large variety of full-time coaches that you can train with and it's really great for any people of any age or any level to come train and play and 